Welcome back to Biotrack Sailing. We are Pierre, Lisa, and our furry friend Tiller, sailing around the world in our Ultramar 5X catamaran. In this video, we leave Mauritius. We, with a brief stop at Réunion Island, we sail to South Africa. This is known to be a challenging part of the world to sail, a challenging part of the Indian Ocean. That's because of the Agulhas Current, a strong current that's traveling down the coast of Africa at four to five knots. And there are also some southerlies coming up from Antarctica, and when you have wind against current, you can have very dangerous waves. We left Mauritius from Port Louis and had a very uneventful sail to Réunion. It was a little rough. You could see the waves as we entered the harbor at Réunion. It was calm in the harbor, and we tied up alongside a cement dock just behind all the other rally boats. We were only there for two days because the weather window to leave for South Africa was, was just right then. We also picked up a crew in Réunion, Pierre-Yves, who really wanted to sail on an Outremer, and so he took us shopping and we got to see a little bit of how modern Réunion is with solar panels in their parking lot and a wonderful grocery store just fully stocked care of four. Since we're in Réunion for just a short time, we just stayed in the port, which definitely wasn't the nicest part of this most beautiful island. I think the sad thing about being in this port is there are a lot of abandoned dogs, and that little one, it stays away from the other end where they all seem to be, but uh, still it's not taken care of. There's been no owner coming by. The poor thing was just abandoned here. Uh, Pierre's been fixing the Starlink. One of the cables had a defective pin and uh, he's managed to do a workaround and now we have to put that cable hidden away under the roof. It's going to be a big job. We spent the night before our departure making sure the Starlink was working because it would be really important for getting current weather. We would have liked to stay longer, but the weather window was now, and all the rally boats left at the same time. Hi, Réunion. I wish we had more time to visit. This looks like a fabulous island. Hiking trails, really good restaurants, friendly people. We really wish we could have stayed longer. Là c'est la, la fin de la saison des baleines, Là, on a eu une, baleine, une saison de baleines exceptionnelle cette année euh, sur, la, sur la Réunion avec 500, je crois, 500 spécimens euh, qui ont été recensés, donc euh, cette année on a vraiment été gâté par la nature. We saw a few whales as we were leaving Réunion, but they were too far away to capture on camera. Yeah, he spoiled us with pastries he brought on board just before departure. There was no wind as we left, we were motoring, and next thing you know, we had a fish on. I'm the fisherman on board, and I usually set up the rods, but when it's a big fish, Pierre helps reel it in, and when he got tired, Gary also reeled it in, and between the two of them, we landed this beautiful Shorefield selfish. some rum in the gills to calm it down and then a nice pick in the brain is the humane way to kill it. After the pictures were taken, Pierre got to work and made all the fillets and we still have some to this day in our freezer. It's an absolutely delicious fish and it's been feeding us for a month. Killer could not take her eyes off it for the whole cleaning process. After the fish was clean, the wind picked up, and we were sailing. As we left the coast of Rayon, the wind continued to pick up, and it got very rough, kind of an acceleration zone as the winds were deflected off the hill. It 
It's morning, day two, and uh, you can see the sea is dead calm again. So the wind just died about an hour ago, and I rolled the Genoa and got the motor on. But it's supposed to come back. We knew there'd be a little bit of motoring, but we're going to have a good weather window to cross Aguilas current. <laughs> yeah, beautiful morning. No fishing today after the big fish we caught yesterday, but we'll be eating fish for lunch. It took all afternoon to clean that fish. So beautiful. We're having ceviche. We're having some of the fish from yesterday with pineapple salsa and guacamole. We're having a beautiful bread. And that's like a... Uh, de canard foie gras. Magret de la de ferme du Pichet Gourmand de La Réunion. <laughs> On va mettre hashtag, euh, hashtag ferme de la Pichet Gourmand sur euh, Instagram. That's a red bullet with sauce. <laughs> okay, so we're doing about 9, 10 knots and about 10 knots, 11 knots of wind. We're just leaving this big row of current going down south. And then this one, same thing that comes back from deep the surface, will be going northwest. And the current is in this direction. So right now it's a bit bumpy, but as soon as we get here, it'll be nice and flat until uh, for quite a while. Okay, show me lower map. All right. Isn't that pretty? It's a very pretty, complicated current structure. It could one, be a work of art. One loop at a time. <laughs> Let's deal with one. Let's get rid of this one, then we'll deal with this one. Might go straight down and then back up. And uh, This one will be with us. And this one will be with us. This one will be with us. This one will be okay. Side loop. And then we'll end up in this guy here. Which is supposed to be fun. Another artist uh, explication: two eyes, big smile for that. <laughs> yeah, right. Looks pretty. Looks looks friendly. Both eyes, the nose. Yeah. What? Looks like a I Picasso. Looks like a Picasso. A Picasso, yes. Two so eyes. The right eye, the left eye, the nose. Big smile. Oh and yes. And then the <laughs> smile. The, the currents are smiling at us. <laughs> Get the sharks in the Réunion, which will have to tell on this video. Mm. The long story, long sad story, but now we are out of the crisis. Shark attacks in Réunion were a problem because there had been fishing boats dumping fish debris in the water, and then when that was banned, the sharks really didn't know how to feed themselves anymore. Pierre Yves is part of a task force that was there to solve the problem, and they keep um, a lookout for sharks for surfers that are surfing outside the barrier reef. The shark problem in Réunion Island may not have been as simple as being due to fish being dumped in the water. A number of shark specialists have studied the problem and it may be due to a number of factors. One is geography. Réunion Island is part of a shark highway that has many species of sharks known to be aggressive, such as bull sharks, tiger sharks, great white sharks, and oceanic white tip sharks. But then why isn't Mauritius, an island not far away, plagued by the same problem. That really did puzzle the experts, and another reason might be topography. So Réunion Island is a newer island and it drops steeply into the water without having as much of a barrier reef. But that doesn't convince a lot of shark experts. Another problem may be that the water around Réunion Island is quite turbid. So turbid water is favored by bull sharks. And also there's some freshwater runoff around the towns, and that's also the type of water that's favored by young juvenile bull sharks. And lastly, the peak surfing season happens to coincide with the bull shark mating season. So all of these factors may have contributed to the shark problem in Réunion Island. And why has the problem now gone away? That again may be due to multiple factors, such as shark awareness and for forbidding bathing in certain areas, certain beaches, the shark nets, and also the system of surveillance that Pierre-Yves was part of. All of these have probably contributed to making surfing and being in the water safe around Réunion Island again.
This has been a very successful program and there hasn't been a shark attack since 2019. Survey to, to check and now all the Iranians, child, mothers and dad can securely surf in uh, Iranian Island with this uh, unique uh, uh, system of uh, survey Short and uh, surveillance. Side surveillance. And I, I say hello to all the, the guys who work very hard in Rainier Island to do it. Congratulations. Just making a sandwich with Greek salad because it's way it's, um, too rough to cook. <laughs> first class traveling <laughs> with the USS Enterprise. Okay? <laughs> During the day, the wind continued to increase, so we took a second reef. I was just explaining to Pierre Yves why we don't let the traveler go when we're taking the reef and it's because then the uh, battens would be lying against the shrouds and it could break the battens so uh, so we don't let the traveler go when we're taking the reef. It is the perfect cushion arrangement. Thank you. During the night there would be many fishing boats that we would see on the AIS that made us change course. I had to change it for 20 degrees. And we're just hoping there's no fishing that behind them. They don't have Channel 16, of course. Yeah, we tried calling them up on Channel 16 and they didn't answer. And the green trail there, any parts of the green trail, that's uh, the, the trail that we put on the lead boat. This is night two, and I think it's officially the roughest it's ever been on Biotrek. Uh, things just crashed all over. I had to get up. It's 11 o'clock at night. Pierre just rolled the gentleman and put up the stay so we have two reefs in. Again, it's the wind against current. It's not that the wind's that high. It's in the 20s, I guess, but it's just, we're just going into a counter current. And uh, my pencil holder fell off my desk. I put my computer a long time ago. All the fro fruit was rolling all over the floor in the kitchen. It was one like big crash and everything went flying. But I'm back in bed and I'll be ready to get up for more watch in a few hours. Here are all the currents and counter currents as we go south of Madagascar. Okay, so this is the situation as I come on watch and the winds at Oh, it's been going up to 24, look at 26, 25. And uh, we have the Genoa out right now. Our speed is not too horrible. But if the wind goes up any higher, we're going to roll that Genoa. According to this map, we're almost out of it. That's our boat right there. So we're in a period of uh, current. I've turned a little south to avoid this boat. We're almost out of it. There's lots of boat traffic because this is also appears to be a shipping route between Africa and Asia. At this point in the video, I'd just like to pause to explain what's going on with the wind and the current in this region of the world. Sailing from Réunion to Cape Town presents a challenging yet exhilarating journey characterized by unique meteorological conditions. So as you pass south of Madagascar, there's an acceleration zone of winds. 
together with a complex pattern of currents, of countercurrents and currents, creating very unsettled condition, mixed waves coming from different directions, and, you know, quite uncomfortable. And as we will pass Madagascar, we have to be aware of the Agilis current that I've already mentioned. It's uh, the winds, the southerly winds coming from Antarctic tend to clock around clockwise because we're south of the equator. And it's really important to cross the current with either a north wind or no wind, but certainly not if a southwest has been blowing for several days. With a fast boat like Biotrek, we can predict a little bit better when we're going to reach the current. And so we were really keeping an eye on our speed so that we would keep the predictions. So you know when you're driving, you can't always beat the GPS, but you can try to stay at about the same timing as the GPS. Well, that's the same when you're sailing. So we had a predicted time of arrival and we wanted to keep our speed up so that we could get to the current when we had predicted that we should be there. Back to Nightwatch, we were constantly checking our maps and our course. And we could also see where all the other rally boats were. Some of the slower boats had not yet entered this region of rough seas. And yet with all the boats now having Starlink on board and using WhatsApp, twice a day we shared our positions and our observations on the sea state and the weather. Things are looking up because we've got the first light of the day coming up. In the next video, we'll continue our trip to South Africa.